All right, the next thing I wanted to demo for you is the service manager. Bill talked about this as well. This is part of our fault management facility. It's another key technology of Solaris that differentiates it from um, definitely Linux. Uh, actually, I, I compare this technology a little bit if you're familiar with Windows and its services manager. It's uh, kind of similar to that. One of the nice things is um, our, our services, and services are anything. I'll show you everything that's running on your system, the network, um, SSH, web server, whatever you have, those are all system services. They, um, there's a dependency hierarchy in place that we can define. And we can do things like monitor the services so that if one fails, we'll automatically restart it for you. But it goes beyond that. If one fails and other services are dependent on that service, we will notify those services that there's a problem and they can act accordingly as well. So let's, for example, I think I have, here we go. There's two commands you're going to use with SMF. SVCS command is for working with service status. And so what I'm going to do is just run, I can run dash x to see if there's any services currently in need of attention on my system. And the one service that came up is the LP print server. And notice it just says it's been disabled by an administrator. That could be me, I'm an administrator. But so some cool things that I like about SMF, and not only does it tell me what the problem is, but it gives me a URL I can go to. Now in this case, I know exactly what the problem is. I, you know, it's just disabled so I can enable it. But whatever the problem is, I could come here and I could open the link. And so if this was a, a problem where I didn't really know what was going on, I find this really helpful. There's an online database. I don't, actually don't know if this is, a, I'm not sure my internet connection is working, so that may or may not work. But it will go to this online database and show me what's going on. But the other cool thing is here, it says, look, the impact of this service being down is that two dependent services are not running. And I can use the dash V option to see what those are. So we run that again. And now I can see that, I don't even know what these are, but if, if I cared about them, the IPP listener service and the RFC 1179 service are not running because the print server is not running. OK. Uh, Let's just do, if I list, let me just show you all the services on the machine. These are all the running services. Uh, not too many. There's a little over 100 if I count those. 125 online services currently being managed by SMF. Uh, if I want to see all the services, I can do dash A, and it's a couple hundred. 218 total services that can be enabled that are currently off. So one of those services, for example, is is SSH. If I do a SVCS-L SSH, I get all kinds of information on SSH. Um, another thing I like is the logging is all centralized. It's all in var service log and then some log file. And you see all the dependencies that SSH has. If any one of these services is down, SSH will probably have a problem. So what I'm going to do is open up a new window. Let's copy this log. OK, so there's my log file for SSH. Oops. Now let's do a, um, I'm going to run this command again. And then I'm also going to add the P option, which is going to tell me the process ID. So it's way down at the bottom here. I'm sorry, but it's 538 is the process ID for SSH. I'm going to do a, um, just kill that. Is that right? OK, and immediately you see in the logging window, it took action. It noticed that there was something wrong with it. It was monitoring the service. For some reason, it went away. And it took action. It restarted it. And if I look at it again, it's up and running. At, you know, it's a different process ID, 1718. And really, that's just proof that it, that's the fault manager in action. It was on top of it, and it took action. I can. So in addition to SVCS for looking at service status, 
For managing service, you use the SVC admin command. And really what you do here is enable and disable services. So if I actually wanted to take SSH down, there, I just disabled it. If I look at the service status for SSH, we can see it was disabled a couple of seconds ago by the administrator. Again, there's a help URL I can go to. The only impact of SSH is that this service is not running. It didn't actually have an effect on other services, meaning there are no current services dependent on SSH.